What's up everybody, hope you're doing awesome. Chris Wright here and today we're talking about how you can get more leads, more sales through using retargeting ads on Facebook. Let's go. So tell me if you've ever had this happen. You're on a website, you're on a shop, on a store, whatever, and you're looking at a product. For me, it's always gonna be golf related. <laughs> All right, looking at the next golf product, the next thing I must have, right? And you're looking at it and you're thinking, oh, that looks amazing. You know, I need that in my life right now, like I have to have it. Right, and maybe you even add it to the basket. But for whatever reason, something happens. Perhaps you just suddenly, the, the other voice in your mind goes, ah, oh, you know what, I just can't justify that today. Like, no, not today. Or the, or the kids shout from the other room, or the doorbell goes, or for, you know, anything happens, life gets in the way, an email comes through, whatever. But for whatever reason, you leave the page. Right, you don't buy it. You leave it, it's gone, right? Product's gone. You're not gonna get it, you've decided against it. And then you just get on with your like your day to day life, right? You kind of forget the product was there. You just kind of get back to work or whatever it was that you're supposed to be doing, and you kind of you just crack on. That is until about two hours later, right? And you're sat there and you go start going through Facebook, and you see, then Instagram, and then you're like, why am I seeing that product everywhere? Like it's everywhere I am, right? And it's just always, always freaking there, right? And then about two minutes later, you've clicked it and you've bought it. You suddenly you had the justification for why you could get it today. So how do they do that? How do they make that happen? Well, the easy answer is they pixeled you, <laughs> right? As soon as you hit the page with the product, bam, they know you're interested. Pixel, done, right? And as soon as you didn't hit the thank you page, they're like, dude, you didn't buy my product. Why didn't you buy the product? And so they know that you were interested in that product, but you didn't buy it. All that does is then triggers a response in Facebook and it starts sending you ads going, hey, you like this product, but you didn't buy it, why? And then what happens? You click it and you go and buy it. So the first thing you need to do is go and make sure that you've got your pixel installed on your website, on your store, on your landing pages, wherever you want to make sure that you're retargeting people from. So if you haven't done that already, uh, make sure you, I'll put the eye, the little link above here, click that and go and install the pixel. That's the first thing to do. If you have already got your pixel installed, great, awesome. Crack on with this video and let's carry on. And what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take you over onto the computer and we're gonna dive in and we're gonna look at how to set up the new retargeting ads, set up the new audiences to make sure that we are getting people driving who are interested in your product, getting those people driving back to your product and then buying. Here we are in Facebook Ads Manager, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to set up your retargeting audiences uh, so that you can do what we were speaking about a minute ago. So if someone visits your sales page, but they don't buy, how you can then retarget them with ads. And I'm gonna start off with this example, but know that you can use this process throughout all stages of your funnel. And I'll explain what I mean by that later on. So first of all, let's dive straight into this one. And look, again, I've got the, uh, the tutorials ad account set up here just so that it's nice and clean and that you can see what's going on. So, and I'm gonna show you something like, we, I use ClickFunnels to build pages for landing pages, etc., etc., etc. Uh, so here is just an example, but this could be your Shopify store, it could be your website, it could be like anywhere. You've got here uh, page one, your sales page, right? So this is where people are getting to, and what you want is anyone who visits this page, and by the way, let me know if you like this. If you like this, here's the crazy ones quote. I'm actually like, I've got this printed for me, uh, and I'm actually thinking about getting it out to you guys as well. So let me know if it's something that you like the look of. Shameless plug. Anyway, so let it carry on. So the this is the sales page, right? So you get to the page, then, and they're umming and ahhing, and they're like, oh, I just don't know if I want to get it, don't know if I can just, whatever, right? And they decide, no, it's not for me, and they leave, right? So they do not visit the thank you page, right? So you've got sales page here, thank you page here, and basically you know that anyone who visits the thank you page bought the product, right? So we know that. And that's what we're gonna tell Facebook. We're gonna tell Facebook that anyone who comes to this first page but doesn't go to the thank you page, we want to retarget them with ads driving them back to this page. Make sense so far? So how do we do that? Now, again, I'll quickly just show you using ClickFunnels, but I'm hoping that you've already set up the pixel. As I said earlier, if you have already set up the pixel, great. If you haven't, make sure I'll put the link down below in the description to the setting up your pixel. Uh, for example, here I've got it in the header tag here, the Facebook pixel code. Okay, so look, now what we're gonna do is now we're gonna go set up the audience. The pixel's already on there, which is great. So what we're gonna do now is go back to the Facebook Ads Manager. And what you wanna do is get yourself over to the Audiences tab. So if you click on the menu at the top, click on Audiences, uh, all, tool, all tools and audiences there, and it'll bring you to this page. Now, if you've gone through one of the previous episodes on setting up your audiences, you'll already have an audience in here, which is great. But what we're gonna do now is create a custom audience. 
Okay, so click the drop down on create audience, click custom audience. And what we're gonna do here is click website traffic. Now, basically, as I said before, what we're gonna do is we want anyone who visits the sales page, but not the thank you page, to be retargeted. So that's the audience that we're gonna build here. So, make sure you've got the right pixel, and we want uh, people who visited specific web pages, right? And the URL contains, and I would always do just the, like so, like the full URL in there. Right, so anyone who visits that page is immediately going to be targeted. But remember, we want to eliminate anyone who visits the thank you page, because there's no point showing a product to someone who's already bought it, right? So, we're gonna exclude, because we don't want them to see it, we're gonna exclude anyone who visited the thank you page. And all you do is go and grab the URL. Great, as an example, there we have it. So what this will do now is start building an audience of anyone who visits the sales page, but doesn't visit the uh, order confirmation of the thank you page. Those are the people that didn't buy the product, so we can now retarget them. Now. I, the first time I started building out all the audiences, I didn't get really specific in naming them and then it just had hundreds of audiences. I was like, what do all these mean? So make sure they're super specific when you start naming your audiences. So this would be, his to the crazy ones did not buy, right? As an example. So, oh. And by the way, here, if you want it only to meet, if you, it depends how many criteria are setting, but I want it to meet all these criteria. So they visit this page, they do not visit that page. Create audience. Done. Now, as I said, it might take a few minutes to start building that audience. That's fine, it'll be zero because I haven't sent anyone to that page. Uh, but just click done there. And it's gonna start building that. It's gonna start populating that, which is great. And now you can start driving traffic there and now you can start retargeting people. That audience is then created. That is your first retargeting audience Done, well done. What we now need to do is set up an ad to start driving people to that. So let's go and do that now. Click on ads manager. And again, there's no ads here. It's the blank, the tutorials account. So let's go create ad. And what we're really looking at here is getting conversions. So let's click on conversions and let's put retarget crazy ones quote. Retarget crazy ones quote, which calling it keeping it nice and specific. Yeah, ignore that because you've all had your ad set up by now. Change the ad set name and let's just put retarget. Like cannot spell. Then you want to set up your conversion tracking, and it just depends whatever tracking you've got on the thank you page. I would I would imagine you'd put purchase on there because that's what's happening. But you've got to make sure that you have the purchase tracking on that page. And then we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna come down and set the audience. And this is the only thing that changes from last time when we looked at saved audience. This time we're doing the custom audience. So we click here, custom audience. Here's the crazy ones, did not buy. Great, perfect. Now we're targeting everyone in that audience. That's all you need. You can change the parameters of where they're located, etc. cetera. Uh, if you want, you can get in and be specific with that. But I'm just gonna keep it as the, anyone who visits the page but doesn't visit the thank you page. And then you just go through and set up the ad as you would normally. And the thing that I would do is you want, if it's in this scenario, you want to make sure that you're giving them a reason to come back. It might be a special offer. It might be a, uh, an extra bonus when they buy. Like you want to give them a reason to come back. I mean, it could just be a reminder. Hey, did you forget to buy it? Like what happened? And then just driving them back. But ultimately, that is your retargeting ad set up and done. That's the obvious one done, right? They go to the sales page, they don't buy, retarget them with an ad. But you can use this process throughout all the stages of your funnel, like I said earlier. So let's go through a couple of those examples. For example, let's say you've got a fitness blog. And on that fitness blog, you cover home workouts, gym workouts, like uh, recipes, nutrition advice. Perhaps you have like uh, gluten-free recipes, vegan recipes, what, like you've got a whole different host of information on there. And actually what you wanna do is get specific as you can. So if I come to your website, and I'm visiting the gluten-free blogs, right? I'm visiting your gluten-free gluten recipes over and over again. You wanna retarget me with the next thing, right? Which might be a gluten-free recipe book. Does that make sense? Because that's totally relevant to the things that I'm looking at. It might be a gluten-free um, meal plan, 
right, the free one, and then once I've downloaded the free one, you then upsell me to the full 30 day, 12 week meal plan for that's gluten free or whatever. Right, and you can retarget me at each stage of that. So I visit the blog post, and then I start seeing ads for the, the free seven day gluten free meal guide. And then once I've downloaded that, I start seeing ads for the 12 week program, right? Does that make sense? And you can retarget at each of those stages. So how would we do that? Let's dive in and let me just show you real quickly. And there's kind of, depending on how your blogs are set up, it uh, uh, depends on how difficult this, this little section will be. Not necessarily difficult, just a bit more work to be done. So let's say like all your gluten free pages on your website have the word gluten free in the URL. I mean, it's a safe bet, but it might not always be the case. What you would do is just come and type in here, gluten free, URL contains gluten free. So now what we're doing is we're actually targeting anyone who's visited any of your pages with the, with the phrase gluten free in the URL. And look, if you want to keep it super relevant, you can change uh, when they visited. So it could be within the last 30 days, it could be within the last 10 days, it could be within the last 90 days. Like you make it whatever you want. Like if you want to keep it super relevant, you just make sure it was quite recent. If you want to make sure your audience is bigger, then make it a longer time. But essentially right now we're targeting everyone who's visited those gluten free pages. But, and there's a but here, if you're then driving them to a free thing, right, a free gluten free meal guide, you don't want to retarget people who've already downloaded the free thing. I feel like I'm saying free way too much right now. You don't, so you don't want to retarget people who've already downloaded the free seven day meal guide, for example. So what we want to do is we want to exclude them. So what you're going to do is you're going to go URL equals and then you're gonna put in the exact URL of the thank you page. So I'm just making this up. Gluten free thank you. Original, I know. Hit enter. So now anybody who visits the thank you page, you know they've downloaded it. We don't need to retarget them with driving them back to the free thing, right? Let's call it gluten free interested. Great, create audience. Done. And so that's now, we've now got a gluten free audience of people that are interested in it but haven't yet downloaded the thing. You then go and set up an ad as I showed you a minute ago and you just input that audience and then drive them to the free thing. And you can do this at every stage of the journey. You could even do it to retarget people to different products. So let's say I downloaded your gluten free 12 week guide, right? What goes perfectly with that? The 12 week workout plan. And so all of a sudden I've, down, I've bought that 12 week guide and now all of a sudden I start seeing the 12 week workout plan. Goes perfectly with the gluten free guide that you just downloaded. For me as the consumer, I'm like, brilliant. Why didn't I get that before? Like how cool is that? Isn't that amazing? So I'd go through and set up the different audiences that you want to retarget for each stage of the journey. And if you've only got one right now, sure, just target that one. If it's just you want to retarget anyone who's visited your website, let me just show you that one quickly as well because it could be just quite a general one, custom audience, website traffic. You could literally just have, as it says here, all website visitors in the last 90 days. Name your audience, website visitors. It could be that simple, right? Create audience, done. It could be that simple, but the more specific you get, the better. Okay guys, that's all from me today. I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you've liked it. If you have liked it, make sure you hit that like button, do it right now. <laughs> Leave me a comment below, share the video. Most importantly, subscribe. Make sure you never miss a tutorial, never miss an episode. But until next week, see you later.